camera look, look at you. Right here. Yeah. Right here. So when yeah. we talk about this, right? You, you know, C3, Cliff Fretwell, the ultimate organizer of events. Um, Jersey, probably underserved for, you know, probably the top, one of the hotbeds, four hotbeds in the country, you know, Western PA, Lehigh Valley, Northeast Ohio, and Jersey. Everybody knows that. And then you got Central Valley out in California, you know, incredible recruiting grounds of those places. We're headed out there. They've been here. We're going back. Buchanan's coming to see us this year. Clovis has been here twice. We've been out there twice. So You guys are pretty, I, you know, the guys I'm seeing from Bergen Catholic in here, okay, not to mention you've got the all-time greatest Jersey wrestler in the history of the state. Soriano. Yeah, Soriano. You know, he's back in Jersey now. Yes. Um, you guys can buzz down and watch a, a dual meet in an hour, right? Yeah. We got potentially five guys in the starting lineup at Rutgers. That's incredible. That's incredible. So, so you know, just looking at it, how does this, this come to fruition with you guys bringing C3 to Bergen Catholic? It was Cliff's idea. Um, through one of our assistant coaches, Joey Trouse, um, he had been talking to Cliff. Cliff. Cliff mentioned it to him. I spoke with Cliff. And he asked about the possibility. And the way we spoke early on, and I gave him dates, and he wasn't sure if they were going to work. And about, I was going to say, three weeks ago, he said, Hey, are we on? So we got together at the last moment, but it's great to have him here. It's certainly great to have him. You know, you guys get a ton of exposure and a ton of attention. Like you just said, you're wrestling coast to coast teams. You guys don't back down from anyone. It's actually pretty incredible and fun to watch. You know, you. watching your talent here, man. I mean, it blows me away. You guys are always, it doesn't look like a rebuild ever. It's always a reload for you guys. Um, how do you guys stay at such a high level? Um, I, it's been years, so it's, it has been an overnight thing. This is, I'm going to my 19th year of coaching here, and it's been a steady build, and our aim was always looking at demographics, looking at St. Ed's. I was always a St. Ed's fan, and so we're a uh, similar uh, location, you know, socioeconomic area, all boys school. Um, we can be a St. Ed's, but it took time and it took, you know, we, we've taken our beatings from Blair, we've taken our beatings from Sam, and kids have to buy in. And finally, after years and years of buying in, we're, you know, hit Johnny Sebastian, um, first like, three time state champ, uh, Brian Nunziato going back, Joey Trouse, all these kids just building blocks and then Nick Soriano, the Joe Grello. So I think we've hit our stride in the past like six years. Do you guys think you can continue to build and, and you know be on the Clovis level, be on the St. Ed's level, Sam, Blair? Because it's different. It's a different landscape. Those are pre two of those schools are prep boarding schools. It is. It's tough. right. It's That's tough. crazy, right? Every, t every time I think that we're we're catching, and that's Sam and Blair. You know, they always have, they have an edge, but we'll, still, we'll keep chasing them. Um, in terms of staying, I'd, I'd like to think that our foundation, our building block is there and we're just kind of hitting the, those new levels. I think where we are now, we have some depth, we have a lot of talent, and we're still young. We'll lose Shane Griffith, Carmen Ferrante, and Gerard Angelo, and Sage Mosco, but we have guys stepping in, which is, to keep up with those teams, you, you need that depth. It's so many clubs around here. It's like amazing. Like in 20, 30 clubs. In in do you in battle clubs. with them? Do you work with them? How do you balance between the clubs? How do you do it? It's it's always an open policy. I don't, as a coach, I don't suggest clubs. It's a personal preference. Um, kids, I look at it as if they want to go to club, they're getting better. You know, they're they're helping the program. They're helping themselves. They're helping the program. Um, so pretty much it's laissez-faire like that. You want to go to club, you go to club. And we have a fairly good relationship with all the clubs. And it's, you, you're walking a fine line. You know, you have kids from different clubs and, you know, without, you don't want to promote. And the clubs, you know, they look at some of our guys and they would like to have them come there, but it's, it's pretty much a personal choice. It's on the guys. It's on you the leave guys. it on them. The That's a pretty good open-end policy. Uh, where do you see you guys, uh, where are you going to be at, what's the biggest event you think you're going to be at this year, like schedule-wise? Well, we have, so we start at the Beast, uh, Graham, uh, Paris A. Graham is coming, so... Graham? Graham is coming You got the, the Falcons Beast. out of Ohio? We didn't, but they did, so they committed to go, so that's great, we get to see them. Um, then we have... They the, haven't been out of Ohio in like, for a tournament, it's I think, been a like long 10 time. years, 12 years, something like they, that. They, one year we were at the Beast, they were at the Beast. Maybe 07, 06? Yeah, it's around that Something time. crazy like that, right? Then we go out to, we go out to Doc Buchanan. Then a week later we host Who's Number One with Flo. Is that in 
Pennsylvania? We're gonna have it here. It's right at the Oh, it's Cal here. Six. Wasn't it at the Palestra? Started as our event, the Garden State Games with yeah. the Rutgers. Um, Flo said we had Clovis and Blair coming out. They said you got some good teams. We want to do a dual meet tournament. Can we partner? So we partnered with them. Uh, we moved it to the Palestra. Then Willie thought it'd be a good idea to bring it to the Lehigh Valley, and it was it was okay. We were at, Willie thought that, huh? He, yeah. <laughs> so, so, um, so uh, this year, thinking about the whole, we have six teams. Well, five now. We need one more. It's it's Malvern, it's hammer, Blair, hammer team. Blair, Malvern Prep, Bergen Catholic, uh, Lake Highland Prep, and Buchanan. Buchanan's coming out. So it'll be a it'll someone be a, really good's not gonna want a match. We need yes. Someone, someone really good's not gonna want a match. Exactly. We have Montini. Wow. Montini was. Uh, they're going to the clash. So I mean, can you blame them? That's pretty no, good. Their their com their commitment to the clash. They couldn't get out to come here. Yeah. So we two uh, two like round robin three team round robins, and then we'll break it out for a final. Um, then we have, we go, we finish our season, like our last dual meet weekend will be a tri meet. Right now it's a tri with St. Ed's and St. Someone really good is going to have two losses that weekend. Yeah. So, <laughs> so in effect, out of the top 11 teams from 2017, uh, we'll see Everyone. seven, or we'll see them all on the mat. You're going to see them all. All on the mat. Whether it's a tournament or a duel. We'll see them all. That's so, incredible, Coach. So we'll prove it on the mat. So that'll I'm be impressed, good. man. All right, uh, we got kids doing testing downstairs. You got anything else for me? No, I'm just glad you're here. I'm excited. I hope this is something that we can keep up and, and build on. Like, you know, that clip is satisfied. It goes well. Um, watching him work and watching the, the kids work, you know, he has a, he's incredibly well organized. And, you know, hopefully we can keep this going and get more kids.